Okay, my wonderful friends, this is going to be quick and simple, easy to understand. You're looking at two different types of feet here. These are what I call the no toes. The toes are built right inside of them. That is the foot. That is where the second bone you have in your leg comes down. You have the tibia, which cradles right there. And then you have the fibula that sits on a side that just lays there and falls off. So it has done the same thing here. Now, the, and this we had the same cradle here for the bone coming down and the fibula. Now, if I am correct, this is literally leather. That is literally leather. And if I am correct, I should be able to show this literal leather is exactly the same or pretty damn close to this actual leather belt. Now, let's look at it in a microscope. All right, here we go. All right, I have to do this somewhat in the dark, but you can see I'm looking at my belt, and that's what I'm looking at right there. All right, that's what you're seeing. Let me turn up the light in the scope here a smidge. You see it? Now, that is the belt itself. I'm not making it up. There it is right there. Now, I'm going to move that over from there from the belt to the foot. Well, let's go to this big one down here because this is almost, well, it's bigger. It's a little harder to see. Let me put it back up to here. Alright, this is the, the leather that is this foot is made out of. Alright, here it is up here. You see it? Now, if I turn the scope down a little bit, it'll make it a little more obvious. But you can see, it's very similar. You see that stuff? Let me see if I can focus this in a little better. You see it? That is the fabric of skin. It's all over here. I mean, that's what it is. Now, the black is vein blood. Let me find a red spot. Hold on. Uh, all right, this should be some artery blood over here somewhere. All right, here we go. There's artery blood. But you see the same black blobs here and there. And back here, there's some more right here. This is where the... the... Um, bone comes down from above. You see? It? It's all biology, 100% biology. Now here's where it comes in from the side, um, where the uh, fibula sits on the side. It just lays up against there. There's no really attachment. Just a lot of blood vessels. All right, now that's the, that was this one here. That was this one. Now we're going to get rid of this one, and we're going to take a look at this one. Now, first thing we're going to look at is this, the surface of it, and then I'm going to go right to those marls because I think I showed you the marls. I hope I did. I get lost in these things. I tell you. All right, here we go now. Okay, my friends, I'm going to make this quick, and I think I'm going to make a compelling case. This is what I call gnarl. You see that? All that grizzly-looking stuff? There's another one over here. There's some here. There's, there's more over here and here. Those are where tendon anchors anchored in here. Now, you see this? That's literally blood. There's a layer of blood mat there, and the anchors lock in through these marly little scrappy looking things. We're going to see these in the microscope in a minute. Now, what I, I just showed you, and you can see there's a, a, 
artery and a vein here feeding this complex, which was, I don't know what it did, but it had a bunch of tendon emplacements, which means that it had articulation. You see them all over the place? No. We have them in all kinds, and this is a long, and this has been DNA certified. Now, I took the, the sample out from in here somewhere, I drilled or scraped somewhere inside. I didn't take it off the outside. I took it from the inside, and I sent it off to be tested, and it came back as human mitochondrial DNA. And I had an anatomist look at it, and he said, yeah, that's what a human lung looks like, and that's the pleura of the lung, and this is the articulation of the lobes of the lung or whatever, and this is the kind of fabric that's on a lung, and this is where the red flappy flap at the bottom of the lung would be, and there's just nothing here that's wrong. It's, it is a lung, and the DNA said it was human. Now, let's go to this. I haven't had this DNA certified or tested in any manner to be other than to just look at it, but you'd have to be, you know, not be able to think very well to not understand what you're seeing here. It's a foot. Now, what is a foot of? Well, I would say it's a foot of some form of a human. However, and this is exactly where the blood flows, and that's exactly what blood does, is it creates this. And you see that, that red spot there? And we're, again, we're going to look at this in a microscope. That's going to be blood. This spot right here is where the bone cradles in the back, and then the tibia, I mean the fibia, sits on the side here. And they break right off. They just lay there. This is really embedded, the, the fibia, uh, tib tibia. All right, so this is what the foot looks like. And there's your, where the bone is in the back there, and there's the heel. I mean, it is what it is, what it is. That's where the bone was. That's a little red blood coming out of there. Right. This is the arch. It's like you have an arch on your foot. And underneath, these are the pads, and then where the there's a there was a pad, another pad here, I believe, that was probably almost this big, and is now missing. And it's it was they're held together in the center. I have, we have tons of these. It's not, this is not a one-off. Now, and, and you can find blood, and I will, I'll show all that. That's blood right there, and I'll show this in a microscope in a minute. Um, and then I have another species of no-toes. Well, I have at least two or three. Hold on. And this one, ugh, remember I talked about the gnarls. Ugh. Look at that monster. <laughs> I'm telling you, that's a foot. And I can, I'm, I can prove it to you. Though all of these spots are gnarls. Same thing, it has all these tendon balls. You see that? That's a pattern. Okay, this is, and these are the heavy duty gnarls. And that's where the bone sits in the back, just like the other one. You see it? If, if you get in the right light, you can see all these things show up. Alright, now, this is exactly going to be like my belt. Alright, if I showed you or I didn't show you. But, this side was sticking up and it, di it died laying like this. They all have, seem to have died on one side or the other, laying flat in the mud and because of the salt water, they petrified in that manner. Now, which gives us a better texture over here. We can see more of the skin, actually. You can literally see the skin on this side. Now, and this is where the, oop, this is where the fibula was on this one. The tibia sat right in here. And you can see, you, you can find the actual emplacements if you know where to look and how to look at it. And that is where the um, other bone sat right there, the little bone. We're going to look at this in a microscope, but that is some kind of gigantic foot from some, yeah, I mean, not, it isn't, really isn't gigantic once you start looking at the stuff we have to present. It's, um, it's not far from a, a very huge, huge, huge human. But it's totally different structure. You see the structure of that foot compared to that foot?
see the two. I mean, it's very similar here and a similar arch, but a lot of differences to me. And um, anyway, we're gonna and this this huge ones. They're all over the earth. This is nothing. This is nothing special. I have nothing here that is special. Not a single thing. It's just that I looked at it and I studied it and I understand it. But it's nothing here special. Those, those, these are inside of here, and I'll show them on here, all exactly identical to this. And not only that, these are, this is the same gnarly stuff that is in the Crystal Cathedral, or whatever they call it, down at Crystal Caves. And the matrix has, has eroded away from that as well. And you can see the red stuff at the Crystal Caves. And then you see all the crystal spikes. The earth is covered with gigantic creatures and covered with creatures of all types and sizes and, and body styles. It's, 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 I'm sorry, it's, it's just an amazing time to be alive and to see these things. Nobody realized things like this that looked like rocks until they started thinking about it. You know, I realize that's not a rock, that's a bone. And the same thing with this, I realize that's not a... And I'm going to tell you, it took me a while. I looked at this for quite a while before I figured it out. But once I saw the bird feather pattern, you see the feathers? See the feather up here? Feathers you? That's a goose. And then once you start looking at it, and you can look at the eyes and look at the, the neck and all of the throat and all of the things that, you know, you never really looked at before and in, in a way of understanding, you know, at least to contemplate it, think about it, not just dismiss it, which is what happens. And they're still dismissing. I say that's, this is what they call feldspar. Feldspar is the tissue of life. And a tissue of life is the same for every single type of, like your skin will turn very similar to that. All of the organs in the body are coated with something very similar to that. Your bones have the, uh, I think they're called the periosteum, very similar to that. It's all the same. It's a fabric. It's a fabric of life. All right, here is the surface of the big foot, of the bigger foot that I show here. You see it? No. I'm just going to go, here's the marls. You see that those are what I call the marls. Now don't forget, let me turn the light down when it's real white. It, well, I can't really turn it down much more than that. Now, um, don't forget, that's the marl, which is the same as the other marl I showed a minute ago. And now I can't find it. Oh, here it is. All right, now, this is the other marl from this big piece or the one that I showed that has the vein, vein in the artery. Now I'm going to grab the marl off of this and we'll take a look at that. i got to find it. Hold on. It's dark in here. Here it is right here. Now that's it right there. Alright. That's, that's the marl we're going to be looking at. There it is. And you see the red stuff in there? That's the matrix that's eroded away, but normally that would hold it tight, tight, tight. And then you get away from the marl and you're back into the skin. That skin would have come over here and covered right over the top of that. But that, for some reason, leached out of there and took the skin with it. And then you get away from that and you're back to your skin. And it's the same fabric on everything. So we've seen the fabric on this, both of the feet. Here's the fabric on the lung. It's a little more pronounced. The lung is a, is a much more rubbery bag than all the rest. But same, same material. All right, I think I've shown you the belt. Um, here's the bone. Alright, let's find a spot on the bone here. Hold on. 
You see, it's that same looking fabric. You see the holes in it? That's where blood flows through there. Now this is inside where the ferritin and the blood is. You see, that's where your blood cells grow inside the marrow. And then as we go out to the edge of the bone, that's the edge of the bone. We come outside the bone, and this is the fabric that coats it, just like the fabric everywhere else on every other part of your body. It separates you from the rest of the stuff. It's the fabric of life. It's time to see, because they always say, oh, that's just feldspar. It's not, you can call it feldspar. That is wonderful. That's great. That's fabulous. But it is the fabric of life. And even my goose buddy has the same stuff on him. You see that? We're not far off from being birds. Some of us are bird brains. Right. Same stuff. Here's up the top where the feathers were. That's where the feathers are up at the top. Let me see if I can find the separation. You see that line going right there between the two? Running down there, that's where the feathers lay. It's the same stuff. It's all the same stuff. Now you go inside the body, different. Now we're inside. This is the guy's, you know, the duck's or goose's neck. <coughs> and this is the actual center right there. <coughs> Excuse me, is where his neck is. I'm going to see if I can bring it over. See it? That's where he swallows, right down through there. And this is just the fabric of the tissue of inside your body. Much different than the outside. There's still a lot of this fibers and this and that, but there's much more blood and gore. The outside has primarily these fabrics, like just like this. You know, I, I have a lot of research on this. I have a lot of evidence on this. I have a lot of videos. I have all the specimens here. I literally, hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of specimens. And they're all completely valid. So, I think it's time to start looking into the reality of what I am presenting. Okay, that's what you're looking at right here. Is these, this is called a tendon enthesis. And what it does is that ball, as you develop and grow, it, be, it, in place, it plants into certain places. There's one there, one there, over here, over here. And they are, and they run a strap back. And as they grow, the cells become expressed, and then you end up with this gnarly looking, marly looking stuff here, which is this. I showed you I hope, over and over and over. So that's what it is. It's extremely um, mineralized, and it is this yellow uh, mineral spiky stuff. Now, the, the strap runs back. Up, maybe run all the way up your arm, and that's what allows you to do all this sort of stuff. Otherwise, you you can't do that. You can't move your fingers around with all these different motions and so forth, unless you have all of these different attachments. I think this is probably a finger. I don't know, but um, but it absolutely has a vein and an artery, and it is absolutely has a ton of these gnarls. So it was some kind of an articulating appended. And this has the same, this has the marls in there and the gnarls and all that stuff all over it too. They're not as as pronounced as the other one that I showed you, the monster one, that, uh, because that just it was more eroded. It, the more you get past the surface layers, you get into the, the fabric of life, the, the, the really structural fabric. On the outside, it's all skin and floppy stuff. You know, and it gets floppier and floppier as you get older. But, but underneath, you still have a basic structural integrity to your body. And that is what this stuff is. On the outside, you, it, it erodes and becomes mud and clay and all that stuff. But inside of here, there's some serious, serious structure. 